Hi, I'm Michael from Plant Academy. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process to download and install Primavera P6 22.12, the trial, uh, so you can get your hands on the software for all you planners and schedulers. Now, please stick around to the end because I'm actually gonna show you one or two configuration pieces that are important after we get it downloaded and installed. Okay, step one is to download the software from Oracle's e-delivery site. So you want to point your browser to edelivery.oracle.com and go ahead and visit there. Now, once you're here, if you don't have an account, you're gonna to have to go through the create account process. So click create account, go ahead and set up your password and your profile and all those sorts of things. But once it's set up, we'll be able to log in and download the software then. So let's skip to that step. So once you're signed in, you should be presented with a search box here and we'll just type in Primavera P6 and go ahead and click search or you get a drop down list. What we're looking for is Primavera P6 professional management. So that's the one professional project management. So we'll grab it there and then we can hit search. Again, we get a list of options. So you should see a couple different versions. We're looking for version 22.12, 22.12. So we'll click it and it'll say added to download queue. So let's go ahead and in the top right of our screen, go ahead and click continue. And that should take us to this kind of option. So let's see what we got here. We have a, a couple things queued, uh, including the software itself and the documentation. Now listen, we actually don't need the documentation. It's all available online nowadays, so we don't need to download it. And if we uncheck that, we'll just have, you see Microsoft Windows X64, so it's 64-bit version for Microsoft Windows. Sorry, Mac users, Primavera P6 does not run on Macs. You'll have to get yourself a Windows PC, rats. Let's continue by clicking continue. Now, I really highly recommend you check out Oracle's terms and restrictions. I'm not advising you to go ahead and click I've reviewed and accepted the license agreement without having read this first. Please know what you're getting into, including all the details about the trial license. Having read that, let's click OK. I accept and continue. OK, I'm going to get rid of this feedback box here. So once again, we have some download packages ready for us, and we have three. We have the application, the setup, the database setup, and then the integration API. Now we could just click download, and what it'll do is zip it all together and give you a huge file. We actually can skip some steps here, and we can actually just right click on the application zip file here itself, and just go ahead and click save link. Go ahead, I'm gonna put this on my desktop. We'll go ahead and drop this on the desktop, click save, and your download will start. Just a reminder, if you're getting lots of value from this video, it does us a tremendous amount to have you like it. And if you wanna see more videos like this, we are constantly making excellent videos on planning, scheduling, and project controls. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We finished step one downloading. Let's get to the installation part. So I've unzipped this into a folder. Here we have the folder and you can see there's some subfolders, P6 Pro. And let's click into that subfolder and then let's go ahead and run the P6 Professional Setup EXE file. Okay, the setup window pops up and we'll do a typical install. This should work for most people um, and just be aware, in case you happen to have a previous version of P6 installed, you can actually leave this checkbox unchecked to replace it. You can have different versions installed if you'd like. Click OK, and let's go ahead and click Install. Once the install has done its processing, you get to this screen where you can run the standalone upgrade utility Again, we're probably not upgrading a previous install, so we don't need to run that. And we don't need to migrate, we don't need to run the database migration tool, but we do want to run database configuration. So we'll leave that one checked and we'll click OK. OK, the next step is to actually set up our database. P6 runs with a database and we're gonna do the configuration of that database now. What we'll do is, you probably have an empty screen. I have a bunch of databases already installed, but let's go ahead and add a new one. 
click the Add button, and that kind of empties out this form on the right. We want to install not an Oracle database, but for most people, you're going to want to install a standalone database using SQLite. SQLite is basically a database in a single file, makes it super easy, uh, no software required. So we're going to choose instead of Oracle P6 standalone Lite. And let's go ahead and choose the option here to add a new standalone database. So make sure you choose the second option here. And basically we're going to give our database a name. I'm going to call it mine P6 underscore 2212, put the version in there. And that is basically the name of the database. Okay, so let's click next to carry on. On this screen, we need to create our admin login. Every database has at least one login, the admin user. So we're going to stick with the login name admin. I highly recommend you just use admin as the password as well. If this is a standalone installation and your computer is secure, this should be good enough. You can change your base currency if you want and basically hit next. In the last screen here, we get to specify where that database is going to sit in actually the database file name. You can accept the defaults here. Mine goes to my documents folder and that's usually good enough. Now, there is one other checkbox here that I want to bring your attention to, the load sample data. Now, if you choose not to load any sample data, you will get a database that looks like you're driving in the prairies. It is empty and empty for miles. It's actually really helpful to have data and sample data in your database. It'll give you some projects to play with. It'll give you resources, calendars, things like that. So I always recommend you load the sample data. Feel free to delete as much as you want once you're in there, but at least you have something to play with. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that database alias. Once the database is configured, you can just click the X button in the top right hand corner of that screen. And congratulations, you've installed Primavera P6 on your computer. But stick around. Remember I said there's a little bit of configuration. We're going to do it right now. Now let me pause here for just a second to let you know that Plan Academy offers lots of online Primavera P6 courses. In fact, we have a couple courses that you might be interested in. If you're a beginner, I recommend our Plan Academy Primavera P6 Foundations course. It's going to help you develop projects in Primavera P6 from empty nest to fully resource and cost loaded and teach you how to progress that schedule as well. Okay, let's finish up. Let's go to start. So what we'll do is we'll go down here to Oracle, Oracle Primavera P6. And if you expand it, you'll see a whole bunch of things. The one you're looking for is not database configuration, but the one that says Primavera P6 Professional 22 x64. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay. If you expand the little advanced arrow, you should see the database that we created is there. We're going to log into that database with the admin password or whatever password you may have configured. We'll click connect. Hey, bada boom, we're almost in, but see this little pop-up message? The appropriate industry isn't selected. That's what we're going to fix. We're going to make sure this pop-up message doesn't show up every time we log into P6. So we'll click OK and P6 loads up. OK, here's the configuration piece we want to do. Let's go to the admin menu and let's go down to admin preferences. From admin preferences, let's go to the industry tab. What we get to do here is configure P6 for one of these particular industries that we might be working in. Now, I'm going to tell you, almost everybody sets this to engineering and construction, and I probably would recommend you do too. Basically, all this does is control the naming of some common fields that we see in our project management tool. Fields like number of hours, we call it units in P6. And if you're in engineering construction, it'll be called budgeted units. If you're in oil and gas, it might be called planned units. P6 works exactly the same regardless of what option you choose here. So I do recommend you go with engineering construction, which almost all organizations are using that option. So once we set it there, we're basically done our installation. 
there is a little pop-up message that says the next time you load up P6, it'll be set as well. So you can click OK on that and close it. You are ready to start playing and exploring with the magic of Primavera P6, building schedules, resource loading, critical path, all sorts of fun. I highly recommend you check out some of our other videos where we provide you with lots of tips and tricks on how to maximize and plan well with Primavera P6. But that's all I've got for you here. Thanks again, I'm Michael from Plan Academy. I'll see you in another video, hopefully soon. Check it out, planacademy.com. Check it out, planacademy.com.